welcome back this is mokami the environmentalist and this is the channel that we speak about the environment and today specifically we shall be talking about plastic bags how are they still being used in kenya while they are banned this means it is illegal to use a plastic bag but of course businesses must run and they must use plastic bags so how that is how i'm going that is what we shall be talking about here but before we get there i want you to subscribe to my channel if you're new here please hit on that subscription button so that you can be subscribed to my channel and hit on the notification bell that means anytime i post a video you'll be notified as among the first people that means you will come and watch this new video when it is still hot and fresh so plastic bags here in kenya the use of plastic bag was banned in 2017 in march 2017 there was a legal notice to ban the use importation and manufacturing of plastic bags and then the retailers the business people were given six months to clear up the stock that they had bought of the plastic bags and exactly after six months that was in august 2017 the ban became effective and the national environment management authority that is nema was mandated to implement the plastic ban that means about three years down the line it has been illegal to use a plastic bag to import plastic bags and to manufacture plastic bags and of course a lot has been happening we have seen people who have been arrested because of the using these papers we have seen people who have been taken to court and prosecuted for the use or they have been found in possession of these plastic bags and um, businesses must run yes so how do you run your business if it is it needs or requires the use of a plastic bag how do you do that now the first thing you need to know is that after the ban of the plastic bag there are there are categories of the plastic bands plastic papers i mean that we are exempted from the ban what does that mean that means the plastic ban is on and effective but you have been exempted you are allowed to use the plastic bags by the government of kenya that of course is for your business for example bakeries people who are doing people who are doing bread people who are doing cakes people who are doing uh, jugukarangas people who are doing milk these are some of the items that the ideal paper or the ideal packaging is plastic bag and so they have been exempted to continue using these bags despite the ban now what papers are exempted or who are exempted some of the businesses or some of the reasons or a category of the plastic bags that can be exempted and that are usually emptied, exempted are among them primary packaging paper and that is the flat bag for packaging you remember the paper that we used that was uh, clear used to carry sugar used to carry um, rice used to carry skumas the very small one kg or it was two kgs such now that was primary packaging the way the shopkeepers would put um, sugar way in half kg one kg quarter kg and package them and uh, now when you go purchasing a kg of sugar you're given when it's already packaged so now that is an example of primary packaging but now why which people are exempted specifically for primary packaging is that that is done at the packaging at the point of manufacturing or at the point of production of a of a good of a product for example you'll be exempted to use plastic bags to package things like milk but you see milk comes when it is already packaged so the plastic bag and the product here is the milk are in contact it is the only thing that has been, it is the primary packaging material for the product now that is primary packaging such are exempted now that is good news because assuming your um 
you a youth you have a friend you have combined the two of you and you want to open up a, a small business to do your cakes and sell uh, assuming you're in university you want to sell your cakes to your students federal students or you want to sell them to your key the the kiosks around so what you need is just to apply for that clearance to use those papers to package your goods that is called primary packaging and of course to be exempted to use this paper for primary packaging means comes with condition these comes with conditions they are conditions that you need to meet so that you can be exempted and these conditions for primary packaging paper include one labeling labeling your paper your paper must have details of you your paper must be printed with your details if it is milk we can see this is brookside milk this is kcc milk we can see this is milk from this person so you need to add to give your your names your business names your physical addresses your telephone numbers and even the numbers of the manufacturers so that needs to be printed on the paper so once i come around uh, I assume I'm walking along the road and I see these papers. I can be able to tell, to tell this is a paper from Kenbrest. This is a paper from Brookside Milk. That is the, that is what I'm saying. It must be labeled. Now, after labeling, the next thing, the next thing that you must do is to show a take back system what does this mean this means now that you've been exempted to use the paper the plastic bag you need to recycle your papers you need to make sure the papers you have applied for assuming you've been exempted to use one million paper in one year at the end of the year you must make sure that that one million papers have gone back to recycling so how do you do that that is now where you need to be creative you need to devise a way of your papers getting back to the recycler one we do not want these papers to end up into the dump sites we do not want these papers to end up into the ocean or into the water bodies so the only way to be able to maintain the environment and make sure your papers are not polluting the environment is by having that take back system now that is where you need to be creative enough you need to be creative to know how you be able to get your papers back to the recycler okay now the other one is that you must have a record of course of your papers you must keep records like assuming you manufactured 100 papers how many have you used in a month how many have you taken back to the recycler so you need to have a record and that is of course in line with the with the take back system like um after the user has used the the client has used how do you get them back and how many do you take back to them to the recycler now the main essence of all these is to make sure that these papers do not get into the environment which is the so that you can be able to achieve the main aim of the plastic ban and also now with your names your business names on the paper it is very easy to trace you and it is also very easy now for the government to enforce the paper and also to monitor because they can be able to get you as the the polluter in case you become the polluter now the other paper that can be exempted is the hazardous waste carriers or receptors this means that uh, for example some of the hazardous waste is like uh, in a hospital we have hazardous waste say the biomedical waste how do you dispose that it is first kept in papers you know those papers that you find in hospitals where you use uh, you have used um, um, gloves assuming gloves now these gloves after you finished you remove them and throw them in that paper now assuming it's in a hospital laboratory and you're handling some um, specimen so this waste is infectious this waste is it's already hazardous you need to make sure that this waste is disposed of in a specific way for example incinerated true so now the best way to handle these waste from the point of production 
the point of disposal is through a plastic bag is the most efficient way true now then such a people can be exempted but it must also be permanently and legibly legible that it must be labeled and permanently labeled this means you have your business names you have your physical addresses your contacts the paper can be traced back to the owner that is the whole essence of labeling this paper and of course it must meet the standard meeting the standard means the paper the thickness of the paper is up to standard is not going to tear up or uh, cause other problems that could be brought about by products that are not up to standard now the unique thing about this paper is that it is not usually recycled you do not recycle these papers you do not reuse these papers immediately after it has corrected the waste at the point of disposal you dispose the paper together with the waste the paper and its content are disposed of if you were going to incinerate these wastes you incinerate the paper together with the waste so that is unique and it is important to note that this paper is not going to be recycled so there is not the take back system like for the package for the primary packaging paper so now this one you're going to dispose it off with the waste of course because the content of the paper is already hazardous you do not want to spread already the, the risk that is within the waste that is inside the paper now the other important thing to note about these papers is that it must be color coded now do you know what color coding means or do you know what these colors means when it comes to waste disposal like for example do you know what waste is disposed of in a red paper do you know which waste is disposed of in a yellow receptor paper or in a black now let me know down in the comment section if you want to know and tell me if you want me to make a video for you the garbage liner is now the most known or the ordinary paper usually black that we use to put in the trash that we produce at our offices and at our homes this is mainly in urban areas where you find the estates have people who come to collect their waste and this waste now is taken up for disposal maybe in the in the um, in the county disposal or the dump sites now this paper must be labeled as we have said that is that is a common characteristics for all all a common condition for all categories of exemption that they must be labeled and this labeling must be permanent that means they are printed you have not been written using a pen or a marker pen it is printed on the paper that means it is permanent and it is legible so they are well written so that we can be able to see now if you want to start a business of collecting waste which is a good business that is viable and easy to start you want to start collecting garbage from a estate and taking it to the dump site you need these papers so that you have every family assuming you have a flat of 20 houses every family or every house you give them one 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 paper of of those receptors so that they can be able to they put in their waste and then next week or on specific days where you correct your waste you come and pick them to the dump site now that is what i'm talking about it must be labeled like we said now the other thing is that of course you must reach the the standards it must be of standard the thickness must be of standard so that it does not tear or does not um, you know does not just wear out as or cause unnecessary bothers the thing about this paper is that you must show like the like in the primary packaging the take back system like how you're going to recycle this paper do you have records of the papers that we are exempted the amount the quality I mean the quantity of the paper that was exempted and how much you have used and how much you have recycled the take back system like remember we said the paper is printed is manufactured gets to you you use it and then after the final use it gets all the intended use it gets back to the recycler for the cycle again 
now that system remember what we talked about you must be creative in the beginning of the video you must be creative to know how you're going to, to correct your waste papers after they have been used now this paper is, is going to be reused and recycled that is why you need the take back system because after you have collected your waste you go and empty at the dump site you empty your papers you do not dump the paper you empty them and reuse and reuse until you cannot reuse them anymore that is when you take them back for recycling so they these papers are to be reused the only paper that does not need reusing is the hazardous disposal paper that we said due to its uh, the nature of its content it should not be reused and it is usually disposed of together with its content now for garbage must be reused or you're going to show how you're going to use this and that is why you need the take back system now that is the easy way those are some of the categories of waste that can be exempted so yes it is possible to use the plastic bag if it is the most ideal and practical way to package your product so yes do not sleep on an idea do not uh, give up on an idea that you needed you had or a business idea that you have been thinking of but because you didn't know what to do yes now you know it is possible to use the plastic bag so if you have a business idea that requires the plastic bags let me know if i can assist you acquire a clearance from nema to get the, you cleared or exempted from the ban so that you can be able to run your business easily and mostly in a way that conserves the environment because in this channel we talk about the environment and environmental conservation and of course how we're supposed to live and do business in the environment with the environment so let me know if you like this video if you like it give it a thumbs up that is how you notify me and that is how i know that you have liked this video and that it has helped you let me know down in the comment section let me know in i've given out my contacts my email in the description box if you need any help if you need me to do a video let me know guys i am here to assist you as much as i can to deal with the environment do your business run your business smoothly and run it run it in a way that conserves the environment so my name is mokami the environmentalist and i'll see you in the next one till then 